Afghanistan cannot stand on its own feet if its uh, state institutions remain weak and undermined by various parallel structures, and if its capacity is not strengthened. So, Mr. President, securing Afghanistan is first and foremost about Afghan ownership and leadership, about taking responsibility, and about operating effectively to achieve sustainable progress. This is our ultimate goal to which we are firmly committed. While most of the civilian casualties are caused by the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, incidents of loss of innocent life during military operations have increased. However, our moral obligations place a heavy burden on us to make the protection of civilian lives priority number one. Civilian casualties must end, and additional measures must be taken to prevent harm to civilians. Sovereignty comes with increased responsibility and accountability, and that's where we need to work together on. The Afghans have this year made a lot of progress in this regard. Two Afghan independent electoral bodies have carried out their work with professionalism and improved capacity to lead on electoral preparations with the required technical assistance. The parliament on the 26th of January was inaugurated by His Excellency President Karzai, and uh, everyone was in that parliament. The election of a minority candidate as a leader of the Walesi Jirga shows that the Afghans, at the end of the day, really can find their own solutions. Members of the Council have before them Thank <laughs> you.